So I started dancing at the age of three and I think my parents really didn't know what would come from that. I feel like to make it on a, a dancing show, like Dancing with the Stars, you're in like the top 1%. Like obviously that was my dream, but we really didn't know how realistic that would be for me until I auditioned for So You Think You Can Dance and my mom the night before was like, you know what, I think you should do this. And I did and then it's, it's led me here. So I'm so grateful and blessed that, that that was the decision we made. It's probably safe to say I'm the best dancer in the family. Although my little brother, he, he can bring it. Every Thanksgiving, Christmas, we have a little bit of a dance off and I think people like to watch him a little bit more than me. Both my parents, they were both entrepreneurs. I watched them create businesses and I watched them have an amazing work ethic. They didn't come from a lot of money. They had to put their time and effort into it. And that's just kind of translated to how I work. And I still, I still am in learning and growing. I had a lot of training you know, since I was three years old. I have been in front of audiences, I have competed, I've performed, but nothing can prepare you. It's very rigorous, very competitive, you know, you're on television, it's live, so anything can go wrong. But I was lucky to have so many amazing people around me to support me and to help me through that. Imagine yourself at 18 years old. I made it on this incredible dance show, like my dream, dream job. And so it was very nerve wracking. Even now I still get nervous before I go out and perform. And you really just have to not think about all of the people that you're performing for. You're doing it because you love it. Art is not perfect. Art is to make people feel something. I'm here to bring joy. I'm here to bring happiness. I'm not here to make it look perfect. My coworkers and my peers, you know, I've been with them for over 10 years. I started when I was 18 years old on the show. I, um, you know, got engaged while I was on the show. I got married. I had two beautiful babies. And so they've been through a lot with me. They're like my second family. When I first started my first season on Dancing with the Stars, I was not used to teaching people. I loved performing and competing, but I had not really taught anybody. And so this was a whole new realm for me. My partners definitely helped me. The pros who have been there for a really long time helped me a lot. And so it was a, a big learning curve for me. I think mentally and physically, it's very stressful. And not only are you trying to take care of a new baby and your family, but on top of that, you have this pressure to look so good and fit. That wasn't good on my mentality. So I had to, I had to flip the script and I had to really make sure that I was getting healthy from the inside out, making sure that I took time for myself and not what others expected me to look like. The makeup and glam process before every show is so much fun. The glam and the hair team are just incredible, but the process really is an all day extravaganza. Like we are in hair and makeup from 6 a.m. until we go live at 5 p.m. That's what makes the show so amazing, the glitz and the glam and the showmanship of the show. Alfonso Ribeiro is one of my closest, closest people in my life. We, we call him Uncle Al. He is just our mentor, a great, great friend. He taught me a lot about the business and I really lean on him for a lot of things. He's just been an amazing mentor and friend. I think any athlete can agree with me that the cool down and the stretching process and warming up process is very important to your physical health. And I think a lot of the times we don't spend the time to do that. Taking care of yourself is, is really important. I have 
a family, I'm a mom, I have a career, I have a new skincare line that I've just launched. I think really my secret is having an amazing support system back at home. You know, the my husband and my parents are looking after the kids right now so that I can shine and do what I love to do and they are back home holding down the fort and I would not be where I am without them. So I just came out with a new organic skincare line. It's called Active Earth, and it's really important for me to get this out there. I have a history of eczema and also of skin cancer, and it's all organic. We've created an amazing formula that really will, I think, change people's perspective on clean beauty. I'm a firm believer in beauty comes from within, and I truly believe that if you are focusing on your mental health, your spiritual health, we have so much that we're doing. You know, whether you're a mom or a dad or a working person in this industry, you have to take time for yourself and to work on, on you from the inside out, and I feel like that is the, the best beauty secret.